And I went on to, you know, read more about him to get to know him more, to know exactly who he is, what, you know, what makes him really thick. And um, I found out some things about him, which I'm also very passionate about. His mom is a Nigerian. Can you believe that? <laughs> guys i hope you had a fantastic time with your family and friends i did it was a quite but amazing one you know trying to keep well and safe because of this omicron covid and the rest of it you know it so it was just a quiet one with my family it was quite and fun yeah we didn't really go anywhere to mix with anyone but we did communicate on phone with our family and friends and you know that was really good for a change um and yeah before i actually go into um all the things i have for you today i just decided that this year i was just going to start with a vlog to tell you what i've been up to in the holidays and also share some things i've gained in the holiday with you so i'm going to start with um um, um what i've decided to do this year now i think i stopped making new year resolutions in my early early adulthood and i'm still doing that i don't really make resolutions every every year most of the time is that I make a vision board or I just set out goals I hope to achieve in the year and then we see how it goes. So this year I've set out some goals I love to achieve and uh, I think those goals are personal to me. I'm not going to share that with you but you know I just want you, to, want you to know that I've set out some goals that I hope and pray I achieve this year. That's one great thing I've done this year um, since the new year. That's one thing I've given a, a lot of thought to and I've written them down. You know, I'm I'm of the old school. I like to write things down, not just put them in my phone, which my husband is always telling me off for. But I'm comfortable writing it and looking at the books, looking back at it and being able to take it. I know I can do that on the phone, but, you know, just leave the phone. I like to do the old school way. I like to write it down. So I write my goals down and as I achieve them, as the year goes by, I take them. So that's what I do. No resolution. Is that I set a goal or I use vision board. But this year, like I said before, I'm setting our goals which I hope to achieve. So that's the first one. And um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, part of the fun I had in the holiday. Now I watched three movies on Netflix, which I'd like to share with you. And um, these three movies are, I've categorized into fun, into a mess, <laughs> and into uh, an amazing and intelligent watch. So the three movies I watched in the holidays are uh, a, Chris a Niger Christmas, uh, uh, I'm gonna get to the saga and uh, Chief Daddy. Okay, now let me start with Chief Daddy. What a mess! I mean, more Abudu. I expected more. The first story, the part one was amazing, which you did is it four or five or so years ago? That was really good, and the ending was just amazing, open ended, you know, eager and looking forward to what the next one will be. But hello, this. This Chief Daddy was a complete mess. The plot was just zero. The storyline, I think it's just bringing together big, big artists just to have fun. That's the way I saw it because the storyline was a mess. I didn't know where the, 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 the storyline was coming from or going to. It was just a complete mess. And I was really disappointed with the real uh, big characters, big artists there. I, I was surprised that they actually took the roles. Didn't they read the script? It was just... A mess really i mean i will give that movie a three yeah that bad i will give it a three so uh chief daddy for me was a three it was just a complete mess now omo ghetto um funke akindele's movie that was fun it was a fun movie you know it's, it's like uh if you want to have fun something you just want to watch to 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 smile to be happy that Omo Ghetto was it for me i really enjoyed it it was fun it was amazing funke brought her character into it and with all the girls all the girls she brought in i was seeing them in different elements because i see them in other movies and how they act and all that but this just brought out a different side to them i love the fact that they're stepping outside the box to do something different so i really did enjoy funke akindele's movie um Omo Ghetto the saga and i'll give that movie a six so the last but not the least is the Niger Christmas story. That was such an amazing movie. I was so happy, first of all, that we now have a Nigerian Christmas story. And it was so good. Something you can watch with the, 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 the family, the children. It was really, really good taste. I mean, the storyline was fantastic. 
the the actors and actresses gave it their best and it was so clean and crisp i really really enjoyed it my kids enjoyed it you know it was just amazing and i hope we'll have more of that nigerian movie and i'm going to give this movie a nine if i should have given it a 10 but i'm one of those that's always reluctant to give 10 so i'm going to give it a nine that was a fantastic movie fantastic acting and shame um rachel nigger the you know one of the main character in the movie she's she, i think um whether it was um at the end of the production she like because she did two she was even in the uh, chief daddy as well so i think she did all that I'm not sure when it was done anyway but she died last year and uh, the two movies were dedicated to her so rest in peace and to rachel so that was a fantastic movie a ninja christmas movie so if you haven't seen that go and see it i'm giving that a nine um for the next story i'm going to talk about i'm really excited about this one yeah it's something i discovered last week and i've been excited ever since so last week um was the very first dragon's den um a program in the uk here where entrepreneurs come to speak to the dragons who are already established um uh, dragons and they help to they help these upcoming entrepreneurs either they invest in their company they mentor them that's those that pass through the interview and the drilling process anyway so this year they introduce a new dragon i'm really excited about this now this dragon is the youngest ever dragon in the um on the panel he's 29 he's black yeah i'm really excited about it. the first time they ever have a black person on the panel and he's the youngest 20 year 20, 29 i can't even talk anymore that's how excited i am 29 year old guy black guy and his name is steven bartlett yeah that's his name bartlett yeah gosh i firstly you know when you hear um when you see somebody and you fall in love with them, it just love at first sight for me i think i admire him because one he was young he's young he's black and he's sitting with that panel of dragons that are some of them are old enough to be his parents actually anyway let's get that to it so um i did enjoy that dragon the the show i watched it i was really excited and of course trust me after the show i said i needed to know more about this young man so i went online started you know checking who he is what he's into and all the blah 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 and then i left it there you know but i was really excited i was like oh i'm going to tell my son about him you should research about him and blah 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 and then later some days later i was on youtube just going to because I do like watching other people on YouTube as well, because you do learn from other people, you get inspired and all that. So I do watch other channels as well. And um, whenever I'm watching a movie or I'm watching um, a documentary or anything at all, if you see me grab a paper and a pen, then you know that what I'm watching, it's a big deal. That's it. So anyway, I was going through YouTube trying to decide on what to watch and something just came true. I just saw um Stephen Bartlett I was like oh you know people share many names and I clicked on it oh my word it was him his face was right there it was being interviewed by another channel on on YouTube so when I clicked on his name it took me straight to his own YouTube picture I was like oh he's even a YouTuber he's got something out here and then I discovered that he has his own channel on YouTube and he has he does a podcast which he also has a channel for it on YouTube so I just came across all this channel and I went straight to the podcast channel now the pod, podcast channel um it was really interesting to me because i saw the day i'm like oh i'm interested the po podcast channel is called the uh, diaries of a ceo that's chief executive officers i was like oh i need to i need to see what this is all about so what he does on this channel brings in um entrepreneurs successful entrepreneurs and they share their ideas they share their journey just to encourage upcoming entrepreneurs like me and i was really tripped so i was flipping through all the people's interview and i came across um the one he did with um um patricia bright and you know patricia bright is one of the reasons why i started youtube you know because i'm always encouraged so when i see somebody really young and you know aspiring really confident really you know they've got everything together it really 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 motivates me so yeah i saw i saw that he's interviewed her and i i must say i discovered this around 12 midnight i was about to go to bed and guys i sat down for two hours listening to the interview this guy Stephen bartley did with patricia bright and i was so in awe of both of them 
I was really, really, really impressed. Now, I'm not going to tell you all about the interview, but it was quite an uh, uh, eye opener for me. So you can go and look for that page on YouTube. It's called The Diary of a CEO. You learn a lot from it. So I'm not here to talk about that today, but I'm actually focusing on Stephen Bartlett. Okay. Now, so that first dragon show, oh my gosh, when he walked in, he was so confident. It was fun. Um, he was, you know, the fact that he's young, he's relatable, he's, he's a re refreshing, he's a breath of fresh air on the panel. He was just everything, you know. And when he sat down, he was so confident to face the other panelists who are, like I said, quite older than him. He wasn't intimidated by any of them. He spoke confidently. He gave his point out with, you know, it was really, 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 really nice. I was looking at him and I was so proud of him, even though I don't know him. I was proud of him. I was in love with him. I was just everything about him. So anyway, and I went on to, you know, read more about him, to get to know him more, to know exactly who he is, what, you know, what makes him really thick. And um, I found out some things about him which I'm also very passionate about. His mom is a Nigerian. Can you believe that? <laughs> I know it's crazy, but you know how we Nigerians big up ourselves. I was really impressed. I was like, yes, that must be the thing that's actually drawing me to this guy. The fact that I know his mama is a Nigerian lady like me. That's why it turned out good. <laughs> Don't come for me for that, guys. But you all know we Nigerians, we're a special breed. And when we do things, we go for it full force. Yeah. So... Anyway, I was really, 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 really excited when I realized his dad is, um, I mean, his mom is a Nigerian and his dad is a British and was born in Botswana before they moved to the UK and all the other things that happened after that. Uh, he started his business, went to uni, drop, drop out of uni. Well, a lot of these millionaires out there did that anyway. And um, yeah, it was really, 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 really interesting. You know, just I read more about him. I was I watched a lot of his interview and, you know, that interview I watched about him and Patricia Bright in particular, I was taking notes, taking ideas. It's just amazing when I see, you know, these young people doing great things and, you know, knowing that we older generation can even learn from them is really, really inspiring. They're so relatable. I mean, this generation is just so amazing. I, I'm just, I'm with them guys. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. Just bring it on, bring everything on. So guys, this new year is going to be great for us. If you're looking for something to inspire you, please go and check out this page or his podcast, Diary of a CEO, or even his page uh, itself um, of uh, Stephen Bartlett. You will be inspired. If you listen to his story, see the other entrepreneur he's spoken to, you will be inspired. I need a lot of inspiration right now, guys, because, you know, if you've watched some of my videos, I've always told you I'm a serial entrepreneur. I like trying new things. I like doing businesses. I like starting up things. When they fail, I try again. I try other things. And I have, you know, some businesses to set up this year as well, guys. So watch this space. So watching all this um, podcast or getting to know people like this, listen to them talk. Do you know, guys, I can listen to this. Um, I just found out about this guy last week, this Stephen Butler, but I can listen to him all day. Just listen to what he has to say because it's quite inspiring. So I look for things like this to just help me to inspire me, to motivate me. And I plan to do more of this this year. And I'm sharing with you guys so that you can do the same to get inspired and go for your goals. So that's my next vlog video, DIY. I've got to say goodbye now. And I hope you've learned a thing or two from today's video. Uh, till next week, to my next vlog video, DIY. It's bye for now, guys. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Mwah. Happy New Year.